Good morning and welcome to Sarah's Tov Devotional. I pray for you today from Psalms 20 verse 4 God will give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed in Jesus' name. The word for today is God word for you today is from James 4, 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In the previous verses, James spelled out how his Christians readers had been living lives of worldly self-reliance, as many of us do at times. They had committed themselves to getting what they wanted at all costs, even to the point of fighting with other believers. They believed God, but they refused to trust him to provide good for them and to accept that he was still providing good when he withheld what they wanted most. God sees this as adultery, cheating on him with the world. He takes it personally. He opposes us in our pride when we live that way, but he doesn't reject us. In the previous verse, James wrote that God gives more grace. He gives grace to the humble. How should we respond when we realize we've been on the world's path again? This verse reveals the beginning of James's answer, submit to God again. Give up getting what you want, and willingly receive all the good he gives. We must surrender our battles to achieve our own desires, and turn to serve others instead. Finally, we must resist the devil. In chapter 3, James revealed that this worldly wisdom we've been following is, in part, from the devil, God's enemy. Satan has been instrumental in engineering this system of self-service from the very beginning of human history. James's promise is clear. If we quit the path of the world and resist the devil, he will run away from us. We must resist though. Resistance requires us to actively pull away. It demands we continually counter his lies by telling ourselves the truth about our God's goodness, love, and power. The devil won't remain in the presence of our submission to the truth of God's word. Submitting our lives to God means that we have agreed to follow his way of life. It isn't by force. It is a choice we make on our own. When we do so, God gives us the strength to resist the temptation and the taunting of the enemy. Let's pray. Dear God, I have chosen to submit my life to your will. Lord, I pray that any time the enemy tries to mess with me, may I find strength in you to resist his wiles. I know that he will flee with time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thanks for joining us again. If you have been blessed, please share with others. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.